Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're continuing the declutter series, the face powder drawer. This is both high end and my affordable powders, both press powders, powder foundation, a loose powders. As you can see, the situation is real here. Nothing fits. I am gonna take everything out, put it on the floor, and we're gonna get started. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Eve. I love all things beauty, and I've started my decluttering series end of 2021 one and I continue tackling all the areas of my makeup collection still I still have a few more things to declutter so today I finally get to my powders if you like decluttering videos if you like collection of videos I'll uh, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and without any further ado let's get into my powder collection and declutter. I took everything out and my goal is to have it fit here in this drawer like that so the separators actually touch this border the situation is serious over here to make this video a little bit more structured and easier for you to navigate i'm gonna separate them in affordable and high-end products and i'm gonna go over those powders all together so if you're only interested in affordable products you will be able to just watch one part of the video and if you like the high end then you'll just navigate to that portion of the video So this portion is my affordable products. We have pressed powders, we have powder foundations, a loose powder, setting powders, all sorts of things. And the second portion of this video, which is gonna be in the timestamps for you, will be about the high-end products. So no nails today, I'm giving my nails a break. So this is all au naturel today. Let's go ahead and get started because we have so many things to go through. Just a little disclaimer here, I am a combination oily skin. I do have visible pores in my T-zone, I'm 37. I do use a lot of powder products on a general everyday basis. I usually use two to three powders sometimes at a time on my makeup whenever I do it. I go through a lot of powder products, that's why you see all sorts of things here. This is not going to be a massive declutter. Just so you guys prepared, I do not want to hear comments like, oh, do you did not declutter anything. Yeah, most probably I will not be decluttering too many products. Maybe I will declutter a few, but I kind of want to have this organized a little bit more because as you saw, the drawer would not properly close. It was just way too overloaded. What I want to do today is to put some things back in a drawer, the things that I know I want to keep, and then there are some products that I want wanted to keep a little bit closer to me so put them in the project pan bin that I have so I would give them a little more attention maybe some of them they already hit pan on and I want to like go ahead and use them up there are some things maybe I will consider repurchasing this is a thing that I have once I hit a pan on something I consider that almost gone product so I kind of want to like get rid of it use it up and get rid of it I don't know let me know if you're the same way also wanted to say guys that I will not be tagging any of this product because there's way too many I will lose my mind i'm just gonna go and probably read the names for all these products that are in front of me today with the shade names alongside that way if you're interested in something you will take a note of that specific name and the shade let's go ahead and start with this wet and wild photo focus translucent powder this is in the shade translucent duh an amazing powder this is not a new powder at all it was new to me i just got it last year i love it literally makes your skin so smoothing this is a very very thin powder i'm definitely keeping this product this next powder is by believe beauty this is called a matte blur loose powder in the shade translucent it kind of has a little yellowish undertone i'm not a huge fan of this it gives me a little bit more texture it shows off my texture. I'm not a fan of this powder. I'm going to declutter. This next powder is a translucent light to medium 01 shade from Milani. It's called Make It Last Setting Powder. I've used this a product on camera. I really like when loose powders have this type of switch. So you turn it, you dispose the powder and then you close it back so the product is not flying around. This powder is so, so, so good. It's long lasting, blurring, it's smoothing. I love it. Recommend it. You need it. This is a really, really good powder. It's staying. Okay, let's go, I guess, with all the loose powders. This is a halo glow setting powder from e.l.f. This is in the shade light. I've also used this 
on camera as you can see i forgot to close this and the powder is everywhere did mention that in the video when i tried this uh, this is natural finish powder it says halo glow and it's supposed to give you glow i did not see any glow i'm gonna put this in my project pan i want to see if i can use this powder a little bit more this other loose powder is by essence it's called my skin perfecto loose fixing powder instant blur effect a natural matte finish shade 05 fair see this powder has a yellow undertone i did not like this powder i can't remember if i tried this on camera i think i did in my essence video i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think this powder gives me texture so i'm gonna declutter this next one is also loose powder by juvia's place this is called i am magic setting powder in the shade white sands this is kind of new powder i just picked it up for the video like when i did the full face of juvia's place hold on to it right now because it's very very new to me these are two powders that are from ulta beauty it's adjustable coverage foundation this is in the shade fair warm and this one is in the shade fair neutral these powders have a very simple packaging they have half mirrors here i use these a lot you guys i've talked about them on my channel i think that this powder or this foundation powder rather like it's underrated nobody really talks about it i don't hear people talk about it i don't know why the only thing that i wanted to say is that the description of shades and the shade names do not necessarily match what the powder looks like for example like this one is so light and i use this for my t-zone like setting my under eye and it says fair warm you guys when you look at it's definitely not a warm it's kind of like a neutral cooler undertone and this one also it does say fair neutral however it has a little bit of neutral pink undertone works for my like overall skin type so just something to consider this is a really good quality but my recommendation would be if you were looking to pick this up go to the store if you can and just see the powders in person that way you will be able to see the shade and i also wish they would change this packaging and just make maybe like do a bigger window so you can actually see the shade really well but other than that i'm keeping these i'm actually going to put this in my project pan because i kind of already had them close enough for me i've been using them left and right i really love these i actually use them on top of my foundations my liquid foundations just to set everything in place and it gives you that like extra coverage that you might want that i personally like to have this powder foundation is by j cat this is aqua assurance compact foundation this is in the shade porcelain 100 this is pretty new product to me i bought this last year pretty softly pressed and you see how light it is i'm going to show you here that it actually goes on skin really nicely but it gives you a good coverage so i can easily use this product to do a full base just to give me that nice coverage that i want for my skin set it with the setting spray so you kind of melt all that pattern is down however i like this powder foundation it wears really well this specific shade is a little bit too light for me i use it on the center of my face I pack my sponge really nicely and then tap it on my t-zone as smooth as the pores and it does not accentuate my texture i love this foundation i'm gonna keep it this next one is by l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in powder it's a waterproof it says a matte finish full coverage mine is in the shade 120 vanilla guys this was launched last year and i could not get my hands on this here in america so when i went to see my family in russia last year i bought this in russia okay this is crazy how things are marketed here so much that sometimes like everything gets sold out. It's insane. This shade is a little bit deep for me. It works for my undertone. So when I tan, I'm going to be using it a little bit more. And right now I'm on my, my palest, but I need to get a little bit more tanner for this. I just filmed my Beauty Empties video. You guys, there were so many products there. And actually, I talked about probably five or six powders that came from my project pan. I finished the whole entire batch of powders that were sitting on the side. I will have that video linked for you guys because it's a good one. This powder was in that empties video and here's my brand new one. This is a Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence. The shade is Tan Beba Banana. If you look this up, Banana Powder by Essence, this is the only one that they have. They don't have any other shades. However, the shade is listed. Don't ask why. Such an amazing product to set your teeth 
zone with. I use a sponge. I pack the sponge like really nicely with the spotter and just press it into my T-zone. Amazing. Keeping. This is a CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder in the shade 100 Translucent. This product is also pretty new to me. I just recently picked it up maybe like end of 2021 and this became absolute favorite so i use this powder for retouching my t-zone so this has been absolute favorite definitely keeping and i definitely recommend if you are looking for something like this type uh this is a really really good powder okay this one is physician's formula the healthy powder spf 16 uh, this one is in the shade LC1. Physician's Formula actually just sent me this one recently, like a few months ago, in a PR package, and I'm so thankful because I couldn't find this. I think this is being discontinued, and this is one of my favorite powder foundations. It has been for a very long time. I've repurchased this so many times. I also like the foundation from this healthy line. If I will see it anywhere else, I will repurchase it. I match LC1 and LN3. Beautiful, beautiful product. So this is my last one. I love it. So this one is a new one by NYX Professional Makeup, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Mattifying Powder. And this is in the shade A Light. You guys, I have actually traveled to Hawaii with this product. I think I got it like a day of summer. This powder is freaking amazing. It's smoothing, it's long lasting, it's waterproof. But I've used this product on camera and I've talked about this already on my channel. And I, I said that this product is not meant for people with uh, drier skin types because this can be drying. This product was meant for people with oilier skin types because if you actually layer up one layer, I think this is enough for even for my oily combination skin type, one layer is enough. If I sometimes go a little bit more overboard with this, it actually feels a little bit more dry. So one layer is enough. And yeah, if you are normal to a dry skin type, uh, this is not a product for you. But if you are oily, combination oily, uh, this stuff is amazing. I want to repurchase this. I'm going to put this in a project pan uh, for now, but I do want a new new one. This one is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. Okay, so here's the thing. It is a bronzer. It is marketed as a bronzer. However, as you guys can see, this is literally like my skin tone. It is a powder. I repurchased this. I think this is like my third one. So as you can see, it's untouched because I just recently got it. It does have a little glow to this. I really like this powder for the under eyes setting purposes. Okay, this one is Perfect Finish HD Powder by e.l.f. It's just that white powder that's good for retouching your T-zone. I honestly don't think this is better than my CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I like the CoverGirl one better. So I'm gonna put this in my project pan um, and see if I can get more use out of it. But I would recommend the Clean Fresh over this one. This is by Physicians Formula. This is a multicolored press powder in the shade Translucent. I've repurchased this powder a million times, you guys. I think this is a nice retouching powder. I don't think this is a setting powder, at least for me, it doesn't work as a setting powder. I think it's a finishing powder. It's very light. I like it, but I'm going to put this in a project pan. I think that now there are so many powders on the market. Like in the past, I used to buy this over and over and over, but I think that maybe I'll just give this a break, but I want to use this up. And another powder from Physicians Formula. I actually like this a little bit more because it actually does give you more color so i like to use it on top of my foundations maybe if i'm using like lighter coverage foundation or medium coverage foundation and i still like to get that a little bit more coverage i like this powder it's kind of softly pressed again this is called airbrushing pressed powder in the shade translucent Ooh, even though it is a translucent shade i still get a little bit of coverage as you guys can see this does have color to it. When I apply it on top of my foundation, it does give me extra coverage. But it's a really nice soft powder that does not make it 
cakey, powdery, accentuates texture, any of those things. So I'm definitely keeping this. This one is H Perfect by L'Oreal Creamy Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory 300. I like this powder, but this is not my undertone. I can make it work when I'm tanned because when I'm tanned, I bronze my face a lot. So it is more forgiving. I'm going to put this in a project pan and hopefully when I start tanning, maybe like in a month or so, I'm going to uh, use this up. If I have to compare these two, I would give preference to this one, the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation over this one. This one is a little bit more smoothing and a longer lasting than this one. This is by Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder. This is in the shade 001 Universal. Guys, this is the one that I picked up in Switzerland. This is basically available only in Europe. I am still testing this and um, I use it for retouching my T-zone. I'm, I'm keeping it for now because I haven't tried it uh, too many times. Time, so I don't have my opinion on this yet. This powder is by Well People. I got this in PR. This is called Super Powder Brightening Powder in the shade Pearl. Actually, this powder has a lot of claims. I did not notice any benefits from this powder, so I'm gonna be decluttering this one. This is by Pupa Milano. This is another brand that is not available in America. I bought this in Russia when I was visiting my family. This is called Silky Baked Face Powder. This is in the shade, is that the shade? Illuminis. Anyway, this is just beautiful, uh, that finishing powder that gives you a little bit of glow. I like this. I don't use it too often, but I like it sometimes with matte foundations to bring that luminosity back to your skin. This powder is definitely more suitable with normal to drier skin types. However, I still love it when I use matte foundation, so I'm keeping this. So we are done with my affordable powders. These are the three that I'm gonna be decluttering. These are the products that are going to be in my project pan. And these are the products that I'm gonna be putting back in my drawers. All right, guys, so here we have a lot of work to do. These are my high-end powders. This is the powder by one size beauty it's called turn up the base foundation powder in the shade light 2n i love this powder this is literally a jam a hidden jam i feel like not too many people talk about this but this is amazing the shade matches me to perfection and this is a powder that is long lasting it's mattifying it is smoothing it is waterproof it's amazing if i would have to repurchase this i would with my eyes closed definitely keeping this is a celebration foundation by it cosmetics i have mine in the shade light this is a full coverage anti-aging hydrating powder foundation. You guys, this is amazing. Uh, the shade also works perfection to me. It has this beautiful like neutral undertone. It does have a mirror. I think it came with the puff too. Yep, like a little sponge there that it's actually useful. Amazing product. I could easily repurchase that one. So I'm definitely keeping this also. This is uh, by Tarte. This is the Shape Tape Powder Foundation, uh, shade light neutral 22N. I want to put this in a project pan. This powder is a little bit more firm or pressed. Even though it's called powder foundation, I feel feel like it's not giving me that full coverage if I use it on its own. So it's good for setting the foundation. That's a little bit lighter to medium coverage that adds a little bit of color. This is by MAC, uh, Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in the shade Extra Light. This is very interesting packaging. So the lid has this little mushroom thing. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you call it, that kind of closes the powder. I love this. This is so good. It's super smoothing. It's perfect for setting around your eyes. I'm definitely keeping. This is a new favorite. If you guys watched my huge haul unboxing in December, this was a part of it. I don't know why it took me so long to try this product. This is Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Cupcake. I use this to basically set my T-zone. However, I could also use it all around my face. Amazing. This powder is so amazing. It's light it's very thin it's smoothing it's long lasting it's mattifying however it's not like drying mattifying amazing it took me this long to pick it up so finally I did and I'm so happy I did because this is amazing this is a Tarte shape tape setting powder it does have a puff and the net inside you can also open this up like this which I usually do I like this powder I'm gonna put this in my project pan however because I've had this for some time and it's time I use it up. It's very mattifying. It's pretty long lasting. It wears really, really well. If you are normal to dry skin type, you probably will find this too drying. So I think it's meant for people with
with oilier skin types very good setting powder i actually even use this puff to apply the product which doesn't happen often this is my new one this is by charlotte tilbury i actually just bought this in january when i was testing the new beautiful skin foundation by charlotte tilbury so i will have that video for you guys linked in the description box because i use a powder there this is airbrush flawless finish in the shade fair i like it i'm gonna keep it this is bye bye pores pressed translucent powder by it cosmetics this has a little yellow tint so this is a beautiful powder for setting under eye and t-zone in general i love this i actually can use this with a brush or with a sponge it's such a good quality i would have repurchased it with my eyes closed this is a derma blend loose setting powder it's in the shade original it literally looks like flower this is a really really good powder for highlighting it actually does give you that highlighting effect if you like like baking if you do fancy makeups and contouring and maybe stage makeup this is a really good powder very smoothing very thin formula just amazing definitely keep it this powder is all-nighter by urban decay cold waterproof setting powder there is no shade here because it literally just came in this one shade cute package and it kind of looks like a water droplet so it does have a texture this powder confused the heck out of me because this was the only shade that they launched there's nothing universal about it like the quality of this i didn't know how to use it on camera because i was generally confused it's not universal first of all waterproof it's smoothing it goes on skin really nicely i love that it's pretty firmly pressed so you don't get a lot of fallout however it does give you this tone you guys so i'm not sure how they came up with one shade of this i, I just really don't understand because my skin turns this color and i'm much paler than this effect on my skin like i tanned it actually controls my oils pretty well it makes my skin look smoother and stuff but i'm gonna put this in a project pan and definitely once i'm done i'm not gonna be repurchasing this so these two powders are actually newly repurchases this one is by clean Unique Almost Powder Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 18 01 Fair Shade VF. Used to use this powder like religiously, exclusively. I just repurchased it, I think, on Ulta 21 Days of Beauty in the Fall event because I just wanted it back in my life. I love this so much. This is a really good shade for me, just generally. I love this. The quality is amazing. This one actually was new to me, also by Clinique. This is a Stay Matte Universal Blotting Powder. It's one of those that's good for retirement touching your oils throughout the day. I have tried this already several times and I think it's lovely. It doesn't give you a flashback. It doesn't make you look pottery. So far, I like it. I'm keeping it. This one is by MAC. Again, this is a light mineralized skin finish natural. I think the shade is light. It's a finishing powder. It kind of reminds me of this Pupa powder, kind of dupes to each other. It's very thin consistency, has a little bit of glow to this, looks beautiful on skin. I'm going to keep it. It has a purpose in my collection. This is a cover effects perfect setting powder. I have mine in the shade translucent. You guys, I love this powder so much. I do want to put this in a project pan, however, because I've had this for some time and I need to start using it. This is an amazing powder. This is just long lasting, beautiful, smoothing. It just checks all the boxes on the list for my skin type. I'm going to put this in a project pan. So let's talk about this Fenty Beauty one. This is Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 170. You guys, you remember when this was launched? It was all sold out for like months and months. I couldn't get my hands on it. So finally I got it after it was restocked. I don't like this. I don't like this powder. No, there are so many people who are like hyping this over TikTok. I love Fenty Beauty packaging. I love the brand's aesthetics. I love the brand in general, but I don't like this powder. It's not a powder foundation. Maybe it's just mine because first of all, as you guys can see i always get a hard pan i had to scrape this so many times just to get something off of it it is pretty firmly pressed i feel like i'm not getting any coverage it's okay just as a setting powder the shade worked well and i think they have like a really nice range of their complexion products which i appreciate as you guys can see i have a little dent here because i tried and tried and tried to use this and i tried to like this but i really don't it's okay but i would not recommend it i would not repurchase this i'm gonna put this in a project pan i'm gonna 
make that full face of Fenty Video and just call it a day. The powder that I like is this Bye Bye Foundation Powder by It Cosmetics. Mine is in a shade a light. I love this so much. This is a really beautiful tone for me. This works like perfection. It's just like my perfect match. Beautiful powder. I love this. It's just smoothing. It's light. All the nicest things. I'm definitely keeping. This is another one by It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. This is Illumination One. This is in the shade Fair. You guys, this is beautiful. But this is softly pressed. This is so beautiful. You can do a full coverage with just this product. It's so soft. Goes on skin so nicely. I would say to set it with a setting spray it may look a little bit powdery. Uh, one thing that I want to say is because it's illuminating, it makes my skin a little bit greasier a little bit too soon. I generally think that if you're normal skin or maybe if you're oily but you're not too oily, then this may work for you or maybe it would work in the cooler seasons. I have been using this actually in the past few months here now that it's a little bit colder here in Florida. I'm going to put this in a project pan. This is a peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Peach Whisper. This is by Too Faced. I love this. This is pretty new. I think I picked it up last year. This is a very mattifying powder and it's long lasting. I'm definitely keeping this. This is a by Becca. This is Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So I probably went through like three or four of these and I love this. And last time when I saw it, I repurchased it before a brand went out of business. Uh, very unfortunate, but this is one of my favorite powders. This, since this product is no longer available, I'm going to put this in my project pan. This is a pressed powder by Purr. This is a four-in-one pressed mineral makeup in the shade Light Porcelain LG2. This is a very light shade. It does have a little like luminosity to it. I loved how it looked so like natural and light on my skin. I would set my T-zone with this and around the eyes. I thought this powder was so good and I'm definitely keeping this one. This is a Bare Minerals Bare Skin skin perfecting veil shade is light to medium okay this product is not bad you guys can see right off the bat that there is a hard pan here this powder is finishing powder this is okay for retouching the shade doesn't transfer to my skin it's very very firmly pressed you'd get like a little bit of powder kind of like that finishing powder and okay for retouching so i'm gonna put this in a project pan and try to use it up i don't know if you guys try this what are your thoughts but for me it's not my favorite this one is by anastasia beverly hills this is a loose setting powder in the shade translucent. This powder is white. I love this for just setting overall. It's a little bit brightening, but it's not like very brightening. But I also love the consistency of this. I'm going to keep this. This is Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder by Too Faced. Mine is in the shade translucent. I kind of feel like it has a little bit of like yellow undertone. This is a really nice like mattifying powder. Very comfortable. I like it. I think it's long lasting. But I'm going to put this in my project pan because I've had this for some time. So this one is by one size of beauty. This is actually a pretty good mattifying powder. I'm going to keep this powder for now. And then this is a Too Faced Do You. It's a fresh glow translucent setting powder. I don't even think this is available anymore. This is glowy. It does have like pearlescence, pearly pinky glow. I don't know if the camera picks up. I use this powder on high points of my face, almost like a, I would use a highlighter, only on a matte foundation to bring life and glow to my face. It's very subtle glow. It's not a highlighter glow. I'm gonna keep this because I reach for this powder quite a bit. Okay, guys, so this is my small pile of powders that are going to my project pan. After I film that full face of Fenty's, maybe I'll declutter this one. Maybe I'll also declutter this one. So these two are basically on my chopping block, but everything else I like. So I have 16 powders. They're high end. They're going back. And I have 11 powders drugstore a more affordable options that are going back these are the 17 powders of both that are in my project pan and these three are being decluttered completely. This is what my drawer now looks like. So much more space and so much more organized. This sums up my video. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. I will see you in my next videos.